Um, and so the very last part, and for me the most important part, is the we we've we've planned out our engagement process. We've monitored as, as we've gone along and had a bit of information as things are developing, and maybe that's happened over a year. And the next bit is just the review. And then basically it's um let's say myself and Serena were involved in this with Paul Nellis from SEDC initially reviewed the Stratheric. So there are lots of different ways of doing it. I've uh, been on the phone to a colleague and we just um we just worked through the, the standards together and agreed on a score. I've um I've uh, initially on this one I I put some information in and scored it myself and then asked colleagues what they thought and then they adjusted we adjusted the score and some of the words in from there. So there are lots and lots of different ways. You, if, if you had a, a steering group and, and individuals within that who want to be involved in evaluation, mm. you could go to the community centre either with the paper version of, uh, of the evaluation or, or your laptop and say, you know, how how do you think we did in terms of including people? If one is if one is unsatisfactory and six is excellent, what what's your thoughts on that? So it's a wee bit of explaining what that process is to, to people and, and how you're using it. And so in this case, I initially put some information in and scored and then I consulted with other team members and the trust for their views and opinions and they were able to kind of add information. So in this section, you've got lots of advice and help there in terms of gathering evidence and how, how you've met the standards or principles for good quality community engagement. And what you'll see is when you come to your version of this tool, it won't say standards, it'll say principles. And um, so that'll be that'll be carried out. So um, it, it just kind of automatically changes. And each of those principles over here, you've got the score and, and an assessment of what that is. A score of six is an evaluation of excellent, will apply to a performance which a model of its type. It will represent an outstanding standard of performance, which will exemplify very best practice and is worth disseminating. An evaluation of Five is very good, applied to performance characterised by major strengths uh, and there will be very few areas of involvement. Now, I as a practitioner like yourselves, very I steer away from excellent, always thinking there are uh, things to be learned and, and places that we can go. Unfortunately, with my colleagues on this one, they were saying, well, we think that was excellent. You know, what could we do? <laughs> so uh, in here, I, I would score against each of those standards. I would say uh, I think this was very good. And then underneath, I would say particularly good or bad things. Why I think I've scored it as very good. Overall, there was good involvement in the community engagement process from contributions to community surveys to turnout at two community assemblies. Uh, and during the planning stages, we identified young people and older people that need to be. So you're really just kind of reflecting on your engagement against those um, uh, seven principles, inclusion, support, working together, communication, all of those ones that we talked about. And you've got the opportunity to put as much or as little information into this section as possible. Um, and think about where it's going to be used, if it's going to be used as a, as a committee paper or if it's going to be used as a, a, a basis for a funding application or both, you know, then you, you, you might you might think about the information that you put in there in terms of support. Uh, as a result of the COVID pandemic, a majority of the engagement activities took place online over Zoom. While this presented some access barriers for, for people, we were pleased at the level of attendance at the community assemblies and we scored that as, as very good. Uh, in planning, uh, I think I probably initially had this as very good, but my colleagues wanted it as excellent. And so I had to bow to that. The team members, steering group and trust members ensured that there was enough time to plan the community engagement process. The team worked with the steering group to and trust to plan out the engagement. So it's really just thinking about the elements of the plan in itself and the same with the methods, same with uh, working together. And, and so what you'll have there is a mixture of things that went really well in terms of planning, things that, and, and methods, things that we maybe need to think about um, further, which might, uh, there's no real weaknesses there, maybe the very good, but if something came up as satisfactory, you know, in terms of inclusion, we, we realised that we didn't get you know, key elements of the community involved in our discussions, that might be something for the future. As Kevin was saying there, 
you know, uh, let's say you get 10 of these uh, engagements over a year and inclusion is consistently scoring quite uh, poorly, you might look at all 10 engagements and, and say, actually, let's think about how, how we can do this better. Or, uh, or do we need to bring SEDC in for methods training and engagement because um, we're consistently not, the, the feeling within the team is that, that methods aren't actually working as well. So, so there's lots of kind of, this is kind of rich with information, I would hope at the end of, you know, uh, a, a kind of fair review. But I, again, as um, Samara was saying, um, it's about, there's a self-evaluation element here. It's about being clear that you can, you can score something low and it's not, a, it's not a tragedy. You know, that every engagement has strengths and weaknesses uh, and, and encouraging partners to think in that way as well, that, um, that they don't, it doesn't have to be excellent across the board. I remember doing training with someone from an enterprise background and she would not score herself anything less than excellent, regardless of what she did. And I was saying, you know, this is a way of reflecting on your practice and, and, and thinking about, you know, where you can, you can build it, but it should absolutely, no, it was excellent, it was excellent, it was excellent. And I thought, okay, well, that's, uh, you know, uh, so uh, the, in some ways the scores don't mean a lot, uh, but they, they, they bring your eye, their, your attention to something, and it's the text that's really quite important. And if you, if you think um, about this engagement um, happened over a year, uh, over a year ago now, um, a lot of this information would be lost uh, traditionally. It would be, well, we did some weird engagement in Strathairic. Uh, we think it was quite good, uh, but we're not absolutely, you know, uh, the, the, all that learning would be lost. So for me, this is what the unique part of the tool is actually closing that loop at the end and saying, how good was that engagement? You know, how, you know, how would we score that? Um, are, are, are we good at what we do? So, so useful to, to think about um, the tool um, and, and helping you to do that. Um, and, and sorry, Neil. Sorry, sorry Neil. Uh, both Sharma and myself had our hands up, but oh yeah, go on. So go we on. don't lose the point. I, I yeah. brought in a, a a while back a comment before you touched on this subject uh, on this area in regards to the the scoring. Um, that it seems quite subjective. That you might have some that I've, I'm I'm quite a hard marker. I'm, on, on everything I do, so I'll struggle to get four, never mind five, never mind excellent. Whereas others may be more lenient, but just to get a a, a more consistent approach, how how do I, we manage that? I think that's a that's a good point, and um, I think um, uh, how we've managed it is that we haven't put lots of value in the scoring. It's a, it's a kind of a heads up if something went really quite badly wrong. I would guess, Kevin, you, you, you might score good or very good and never venture into excellent, but you would never say that something was just satisfactory unless you thought that's something I want to draw people's attention to. And so for me, it's the wording underneath that's the most important part of that. So whilst I don't want to belittle it, uh, the scoring, for me, it's always, you, you've said you've scored it as, as very good, why have you scored as very good? And that's because we worked hard to get people online. We, we it wasn't excellent because we think that some people were missing from that. But um, you know, uh, so so whether something is good or very good, that doesn't draw my eye. It's the it's the it's the text underneath that's the most important. But but what does draw my eye if someone put in weak or satisfactory? I would think right. I'm going to go straight there because they clearly want to tell me something. Um, and so um, that, so so I, I wouldn't get too bogged down with trying to get consistency across the team. I think as long as, as let's say they scored excellent right across the board, but you 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 read, you, I'm not seeing excellent in a lot of this this stuff here. Then that's a good heads up to say this person isn't getting it at all. Um, you know, uh, so if if you need to to think about it in that sense, um, for me. I, I'm a wee bit like you, Kevin. I would be good or very good. I think I tend to think my practice is good, uh, and I, I might I might score very good for something that someone else would score excellent, and that's absolutely fine because I think we're we're both in the ballpark there. So it's not about getting hung up about those. And maybe maybe going to a committee, you might say actually we might need to edit that report because it, it's maybe looking. We prefer them read the text rather than uh, be drawn to to something like that. So. It's, 
it's really up for you guys as a team to decide how to use that. We haven't had too much of an issue with it here about trying to regiment it. It really, uh, it's just that what we, we, we do some degree of describing what each of those elements are, but we, we, we were more interested in the text itself. Can you pull out all the ones that are good and very good or excellent? So, for example, I think, you know, we've got people who may think they're good, but we might say they're not so good. Um, and but then they might want to look at what very good looks like so they can see oh, what else could I be doing that I'm not aware of. Um, so, you know, can we put can can they go in, for example, and just pull out all the very good and say, oh, that that's what a good one looks like? No, no, they can. not And 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 you can unless you you you're working on something or or, or colleagues mm. have said this was an excellent piece of work that I've scored. Uh, let's make that as a, let's make that as an exemplar. So, for example, I've shared what I think was a good piece of work, the Strathairic work with you guys as a PDF. Um, mm. and, and so it's shareable in that sense. So, for example, Kevin might be doing some work and you think that's a standard we want to meet consistently. Mm. Um, so let's print that off. We might want to change the names of people to, to hide the innocent or the guilty um, but and, and turn that into an example and put it onto your website and you know here's voice so say, say for example someone in Rhodes they aren't going to be well, well versed at scoring or being uh, what's the word um, self-critical and been able to be confident enough to do that but actually through your work and coaxing them and you know helping them then you know and maybe you might sit down and do the evaluation with them you're actually able to kind of instill that kind of practice so this tool will never tie people down to put best practice but it'll take them through the processes and maybe that person in Rhodes will steadily get better and his third engagement as a result of one you sitting down doing the plan doing with them two the second engagement where you just get involved in the evaluation with them and then three he's actually more aware that actually I can be self-critical and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That actually is going to improve my practice. I'll share that with the, with the engagement team and, and see if we're, and then I'll share it with my own Rhodes team from there. So it's about a, it's about a capacity building from you guys and deciding how you want to do that. Um, but this will give you the heads up and, um, and, and, and you'll be able to draw out things in the way that I've drawn out the Strathairic uh, engagement, which I think is useful because of the pros and cons, but it, it's got all the key elements for me. Okay. Um, let me just take you on. Um, there, there isn't a lot in this, and um, we kind of cut this uh, review section down substantially. The next bit, it just reflects back on those changes. Remember in plan, we asked about what changes you're going to see uh, involving a wider community, and just ask you to think about those indicators. And, and actually, have you have, they, have you actually done that in terms of an overarching uh, engagement? And it's saying that here, you'll you'll recognise some of this stuff. There was good involvement overall. Over 30%, 264 residents responded to the community survey. And this is information I didn't have to specially gather. It's in the actual final report that we put together. So I'm just kind of cutting and pasting from the final report in a sense. There was a 110 suggestions on the idea on, on the ideas bank, 120 people commented on the draft, 60 people came to the assembly. So I'm scoring myself as very good there. And as a team, we scored ourselves as very good because we think for it, it was just a, a, a there was a residence of um, 700 households or 700 people in, in um, 400 households or so. So we think we did quite well in getting those individuals and then the last thing in the plan we said was that we would produce a plan that represents the views of the whole community. We think we did that very good, very well, and uh, something about that. On the 21st, uh, 20th of October, the, the engagement process led to um, these themes, nurture the environment, sustain the community, develop the community in five action areas, getting about and blah, blah, blah. So um, I think that's me kind of alluding to the plan and I could have uploaded the plan to the actual tool itself, but it's on, it's on a community website. And then the very last question, what did we learn? Uh, who did we engage and what did we learn? And it's say this is reflected back to you from the plan. You said you would try to get older people, young people and the wider residents. So that's preloaded. And then it's just asking you for a number. How many of the plan participants 
did the engagement process reach? And that comes down to what Kevin was talking about. Is there a way of aggregating all that information together? 300 plus 500 plus 600, you know, did it, you know it, it really, we had that previously. We didn't think it, uh, it worked that well, but basically you're able to take uh, rough numbers uh, essentially to, to kind of say, and for me, that gives you the scale of the engagement that 300 people were involved, you know, from the survey to the to the actual come along to events to uh, idea suggestions on the ideas bank and whatnot. And then very last, what are the key lessons that have been learned and what what will we do next? So we learned that online workshops are a good way to involve people. We learned that the delivery mechanism for the plan, which means getting volunteers involved um, will we'll take more development um, to, you know, to, to realise the plan through volunteers. Uh, we needed to avoid mixed messages from the trust who were initially saying this is the community's plan and then halfway through saying this plan belongs to the trust. So there's a bit of a mixed message there. And you can imagine when you're working with them, um, colleagues from other agencies like the NHS, they might say, well, this is our plan for the community. You were saying, you know, well, wait a minute here, yeah, that's not what we agreed from the outset. Um, one one bit of learning from this that I'd never come across, which was um, that someone in the community asked if they could see the raw data from the surveys, and which we thought was fine because we wanted to be as transparent as possible. But actually, we realised that if we gave that person the raw data, they'd be able to identify local people from that from their areas and um, within that. So actually, one of the learning from me I put in there, access to survey data was a discussion point early on in the process. It was clear that publishing verbatim responses to the survey. Well, initially, hope we hoped to be complete, um, to be transparent. Uh, we, we thought there was issues in, in terms of privacy, so we backed away from that. And it was useful to have a dedicated website for good with good functionality to, to carry out this engagement. Now, that very last bit there and lessons learned, that's often the stuff that's lost into the ether because people move on to the either the next engagement or the delivery, which are the three options round about childcare, what the, what we're going to go, what's the best, and for me. And this is this is um, we, we, we've um, we've crystallised this, and let's say it's a let's say it's round about the Church Street Community Centre. We, we'll be able to someone as we as you guys move on, we'll be able to see that something happened there previously. Be able to have a wee look at that. Whatever happened with that uh, engagement round about um, wraparound childcare, you be able, they'll be able to go on and have a look at the report and say actually a lot of really good work went into that. We don't. Either we go back with a light touch and ask the community again, but we, we, there's good information here. Let's start to look at the delivery of the solution. Why didn't that happen? Well, we went into a massive recession. I don't want to get bleak with you guys, but <laughs> you know there are lots of reasons why good community engagement doesn't turn into the the, the proposal. Um, but it's it's useful to have that information there. And then that's really it. Uh, at this stage, I can produce a report, same as the others, um, but just for the for the um, for the review section. Or I can go in and I can produ produce the whole report, uh, select all, and download everything in the engagement, which is the um, plan, do, and review. Let's see, so up here, uh, I've got the plan section, and then I've got the do section. And then I've got the review section. Uh, uh, to me, a useful report to be able to kind of um, share with people at the end. 